welcome. This is Athena. I'm specifically doing this wonderful video for my friend Matt. Now Matt has this injury in the knee and in the arm. So we're going to spend 15 minutes or less just stretching and doing these wonderful stretches to help make that arm and that knee and those legs more mobile. First, you're going to take a 15 to 30 minute walk and you want to step on that knee with this injury. To help you heal faster, we have to do our own physical therapy. We're going to share this with you because you might be having the same problems in your knee or your arms. So let's get started. You're on the yoga mat. I'm in a beautiful environment of the park. I absolutely love this park. So I invite you to go out in nature. I'm going to have you get on your hands and knees. If the knee is getting too challenging, putting that pressure on it, then I want you to know that you can alleviate that by putting a pillow or something underneath that knee in the meantime. Flatten your feet out. In this first exercise, we're going to bend that knee, that's right, and bring it all the way down to the butt, and then bring it back up. Walk your hands forward and press your hips forward. Keep doing that. We're doing this for about six more times, total of eight. And the reason we're doing this is because we want mobility in that knee. We want to stretch those ankles. We want to get those feet working and those phalanges and the toes and the carpals and the metal carpals, okay? Three more. Really pressure it, let your hips fall forward. And if your back is cranky, then you don't have to let your hips fall that forward, okay? And then one more. We're going to breathe in, come up, press your hips forward, and just hang here with the head down. Use the strength of your arms to hold you up. We want some strength building in that arm too, Matt. And then slowly come up, tuck your toes under here. Because what we want to do in this child's pose, the head is going to come down. Now, if it hurts too much for your head to come down, use your elbows. Stay up on your elbows. And get that derriere down as much as possible. You don't have to come down all the way like I do, okay? You want your feet tucked under because you want to stretch that Achilles heel. You want to stretch the front part of your shin. And also the arches in your feet and you're feeling it in your toes as well. Breathe in, breathe out. Good, three more breaths just like that. I'm feeling pressure on my toes. This is a good stretch for the toes. Ooh, that's good. In, out. One more time together. Breathe in one, two, three, Exhale out, three, two, one, and then slowly come up. This next one is a little bit challenging, but I want you to know you do it in increments, in inches. You can put the pil a pillow underneath you. On this first one, we're doing it with the toes, tucks under, and hero's pose and getting a nice stretch in that knee. Oh yeah, that hurts, right? Yeah, and you're also getting a stretch in the feet as well. So just come up, you're doing good, and then come back down. Good, let's do that six more times, total of eight. Press your hips forward as you come up, the arms are gonna come back, and then exhale, relax your hands on your thighs, drop your chin into your chest, good. Through four more times, up, inhale, Exhale, down, one, two, up, press your hips forward, one, two, down, exhale, one, two, one more. Good. Flatten those feet out behind you and watch what happens when you come down. A deeper stretch in the Achilles heel. Now I could sit on my feet, stumble, 
Sometimes you won't be able to do that, Matt, until you slowly relax your hips. That's it. Sit on a pillow if you need to start off with that. We've used the pillow as props in our healing process. Some of you might not even have this injury to your knee, but really need this stretch opening in your knee, then you're gonna do that, okay? Inhale and exhale. Breathe through it. I know it's tough. Do this for four more breaths. And I don't mean fast breaths, you're taking your slow breath. Again, don't hurt yourself. Come up a little bit if it's too much or if you have to just kind of hold yourself up like that in a certain position. Three more breaths. Last one. Breathe in with me. Exhale, relax, let go. Ooh, good job. I'm proud of you so far. All right. We're going to make it tough, but again, you back off of it if it's too much of a sensation. Yeah, you need that extra pain, but you don't want to kill yourself, right? You're tucking your toes under, underneath you. Okay, we're slowly going to come to a squat. That might not be possible at this stage with you, okay? So we're gonna go in baby steps. Slowly lean back, okay? You're coming up with your derriere towards the air and you're slowly walking yourself to your heels. Now, if you can get that knee bent, that's wonderful therapy, okay? But if you're right up here with the, just a slight bend, congratulate yourself on that, man. You're doing a good job, okay? Hang out here, inhale, and exhale. Open your legs up a little bit more if you have to, come down. If you come up to the balls of your feet and you squat down like this, it took me, without an injury, over a year to get down like this. Congratulate yourself on any lower movement, and eventually this is how you're gonna end up, okay? Your elbows are pressing into the knees. Prayer pose, chin underneath the knees, okay? Whatever position you're in, you've got four more breaths. I want you to do it nice and slow. Inhale, bring a smile to that face. I know this is tough. And exhale, take whatever position you're in. Inhale. And exhale. Now for two more breaths, just listen. Know that your body takes time to heal of a severe injury. Know that when you congratulate your body for the baby sips that they, you do, you get a faster process of healing. Breathe in. Breathe out. Slowly come back to tabletop. Oh, good job. I'm so proud of you. Roll over onto the derriere. There you go. Let's get a twist in that spine. We're doing windshield wiper knees in it towards the left direction. You're taking your hands and you're walking your hands all the way back so you feel that deep hip stretch and you're looking behind you. Now when I look behind me, I'm inhaling using my hands to push me into the twist towards the left. And watch what happens on the exhale. Relax your twist and then just fall forward with the knee, excuse me, fall forward with the chin, relax the shoulders. Good, let's do that three more times. In, nice big grin, and then out, relax. And you'll notice my inhales and exhales are slower. You're gonna slowly make your way up to deeper lung capacity. Doing good, keep going, exhale. Inhale, exhale, breathe in, hold it here, one, two, three, and then exhale, relax, all the way back to center, <gasps> good job, 
taking the left hand behind the back of the neck and the right hand grab the left wrist. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take that left arm and stretch it all the way down and bend towards the right. Breathe in, pressing your chest forward and your elbow up. And breathe out, relax. Inhale. And exhale. Good, two more breaths. Inhale, lift the chest forward, lift the elbow up. Out, relax. Inhale, up. So you're almost feeling a strain in your stretch, which is no problem. Turn that around to, oh, this feels good. Yeah, oh, yeah, oh, hello, hello, yes, get up there with that elbow. And then exhale, oh my goodness. Oh yeah, hello, thank you. Good, one more. Up and out. Ooh, that felt good. Slowly come down with the left arm and we're gonna switch knees to the right side. Now you'll see my knee is really bent when you're, for, when you're first doing this. Look it, open up your knees a little bit. You don't have to have them. And sometimes when your knee is bent in this position, it's like, Athena, there's no fucking way. No problem. Put a pillow underneath here if you need to, or, you know, come with your legs forward to come into the twist. Any way that you can come into a twist is good. Breathe through it. You're doing good. I'm proud of you already. Walk your fingers towards the right side. Look behind you. Inhale. And exhale, relax. Breathe in, breathe in. And breathe out, relax. Breathe in, breathe in. Twist, twist, twist. Look, look, look. Feel that in your hips. Straighten up your crown of the head towards the sky. Exhale, drop your shoulders, drop your chin into your chest. Feel that relaxation. That sensation of, ah, one more. In, 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 reach, 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 reach. Good, drop your chin into your chest, drop your shoulders, relax. And come back to center. Oh, good. Last one. Right hand behind the back of the neck, grab that right wrist with that left hand, and then slowly bring that arm all the way over towards the left and that right arm is dropping towards the left your left ear is dropping into the left shoulder now relax that left arm you're just pulling on it but you can relax that left shoulder and drop it too good three more breaths remember to press the chest forward elbow up towards the sky on the slow inhale and on the exhale, drop it. Breathe in, reach up. 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 Breathe out, relax it. Inhale, reach up. 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 Exhale, relax it. Oh, and then slowly come up. Bring the hands to heart and closing this session out. Relax the elbows to the side. The light in me honors and loves the light in you. You're doing a great job. I'm so proud of you. You heal faster and love your body faster by telling yourself, thank you, body. Mental pat on the back. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for helping me out. Namaste.